name's Forrest Urban, I'm manager of live invertebrates here at the Natural History Museum. And what blows my mind are butterflies and moths, especially blue morphos. In the pavilion, we are seeing flying masses of blue morphos, all flying together in groups of four to seven. We call these flying masses of morphos a mob. Why do they fly in mobs? Safety in numbers. And when you're as big as a dinner plate and as bright as a shiny diamond, attention follows, especially unwanted attention, that is, attention from predators. So what is the story of why the blue morphos are as bright and shiny as a precious gem? Their flashy blue coloration is referred to as flash and dazzle. And flash and dazzle, or jazz hands for butterflies, is actually a survival adaptation. Flash and dazzle is another way of saying, now you see me, now you don't. Let me paint a picture for you of what their native habitat is like. Imagine a blue morpho living in a tropical rainforest like Costa Rica. As it flies underneath the canopy of the Costa Rican rainforest, it flashes blue on and off. That is, it flashes blue and disappears because the upper side of the wing is iridescent blue, but the underside is dark and cryptic. This makes these butterflies flash blue on the downbeat and disappear on the upbeat. When they stop flying and land on the ground or a tree, they close their wings and the blue disappears again and they blend into the darkness of the forest, making it really hard for flying predators like birds to follow, track, and ultimately eat. This year's pavilion has plates of fruit. You can look forward to seeing them bellied up to the fruit bar and maybe getting a little tipsy as they enjoy all the fermented fruit cocktails they can drink. <laughs>